The search world is changing massively thanks to AI and Googling is slowly dying down, sadly. But we have really good news because we have perplexity. Perplexity is the best tool out there today for online search, research, and anything that you would usually do with Google. It would have took you potentially 10 to 15 minutes to get somewhere before, but today with perplexity, you get that in seconds. Today, perplexity search is taking over and it's my go-to tool to research anything online. And today, by the end of the video, you will have superpowers in how to search online. We will cover perplexity from A to Z. Are you ready? Because I am. This is Tim Chucker, your AI operator, and let's dive in. Here we are. This is perplexity on Chrome. But the great news is they also have a Mac app. I'm not sure about the Windows app. I'll show you quickly the browser, and then I'll show you the Mac app. So perplexity is very clean, very neat. If I collapse the menu, as you can see, it reminds us of our normal search tools. In the middle, we have search the internet, ask anything, very clean, right? So perplexity is great. I have the pro plan. This is why the pro is up. If you don't pay for it, you have the free. You might not have that. That's fine because mostly is just limits. You'll be able to still use the free version for a lot of the things that I'm going to show you today. So perplexity, very simple. Search the internet. Let's say that I'm searching for the latest AI gadgets. And I haven't done a pro search and I'll show you what the difference is with the pro search. So right now, without a pro search, what I get is a bunch of sources. So it has gone through these sources and it's giving me some answers. The latest AI gadgets, wearable AI devices, and so on. It's numbered all these. And as you can see next to them, it's already citing the sources for each bit of the answers. This is quite good. But what I love is what you get for related. So let's say that I wanted to dig deeper. What are the most innovative AI gadgets coming out this year? I click on that. Boom. I'm continuing my search. I'm diving deeper and deeper. This is amazing, right? What I love about it, it's the related part. As you can see, I get extra questions where I can dive deeper and deeper. And perplexity helps me do that. Wow. So here, what are the most innovative AI gadgets coming out this year? If I just click on the plus, it's already taking me down that rabbit hole. Just be careful because yeah, sometimes you're going to have to come back. I've seen myself spend long, 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 long time in perplexity. So here we are, boom, I get my sources again, right? You can show all on the right side. I have eight sources that it's researched from. I have the answers and remember it cites each source that it takes the information from in each answer as well, which is amazing, right? So we do get a nice clean summary of our search, right? So we get the answer to our questions, but let's do the same search now with pro. I will enable pro. What does Pro do? It plans out the search, latest AI gadgets. And here we are on the Pro. I'm doing the same search, but as you can see, we search for the latest AI gadgets, compile a summary of the latest AI gadgets found. It's done two steps. In many different searches, this can be even more steps than this, but I like that here, boom, it searched, it read the sources, it's compiled and it's gathered sufficient information and it's compiled a summary. Here we go. We have the answer, the AI wearables, the AI home devices, AI personal assistants, AI enhanced gadgets, and so on. As you can see, it's not these one, two, three. It's much deeper because it's done a plan and then it summarized it. The first option without the pro, it just goes, searches, and brings the information. In the pro search, it searches and then it summarizes. So it's using more of the large language model behind it, more the AI behind it to give you a summary for your search. So here you can also click rewrite. If I click rewrite, you'll be able to rewrite with different large language models, which is Claude Sonnet and so on. You have GPT-40, you have a bunch of options here to rewrite the answers. This is amazing because it's using different large language models behind and you can choose which large language model you would like to use with your perplexity search. On the right side, as you can see as well, we're getting the YouTube video. We can search images. We can search videos. We can generate image. We can do a lot of stuff. If I did say generate image, it can generate a whole new image about that search. This is really cool. And as you can see, 
Here, I can even customize the prompt and I can use the prompt here to be able to change what type of image I want it to bring. So I could do a style or I can change the subject. But as we have the subject already, you know, I could just submit that and we're going to get an image for my search, which is fully generated with AI. It used Flux as the image generation model. Nice little image. So what you've seen now is just the basics of the search. Again, you have the search, the pro search, the pro search adds steps. It kind of makes a plan on what to search and summarizes it, which is a little bit cleaner. You get your sources for each answer. And on the right section, you get your search images, search videos, or generate image. If I click the search videos, it's really cool because it's going to take the same search, but just give me answers of YouTube videos. As you can see, we've got a bunch of YouTube videos of AI gadgets, but this is not it. Perplexity has so much more power that is just mind-blowingly ridiculous. If I wanted to do more about this search and I wanted to start finding different threads and really start diving deeper into this search, I'm able to convert this into a page. So by converting this into a page, I create a little page of my answers. This is really nice. If you want to share it inside your company, you want to share it with other co-founders, you want to share it with your buddies, you're able to share this with anybody. It gives you a little link and it's very clean. You have your image, you have a menu on the right side. You can change the layout, smaller header, no header. This is really cool. You can edit your page yourself. You can rewrite it. You can emphasize sources. This is really good to share across. And what I love is that this page is not finished. I'm able to add a section, predictions of AI gadgets for 2025. And now we're adding a new section into this page. As you see, it's done AI gadgets in 2025 now, and it's added a new section. I can add a new media. I'll find the media. I can, of course, also generate an image for this media. Instead of having this image, we can just click change, we can generate an image, we can upload an image and so on. So I'm able to create an incredible page from the results and present it in my company to my colleagues, to my managers, to my co-founders, the potential are endless. So that's pages. I converted my search into a page that I can share across and you can continue to work on this. And you have many more features. If you click more, you can move up the sections. You can edit the section. You can just put a media plus text. You could just put media only. You can change this to a table. Let's change this to a table just to show you here. So this section now is changing into a table. Bam, we got a couple of columns and a few rows. This is really nice. By keeping adding sections, you're able to create an incredible page for your search. And on the right side, you can preview this page. If you preview the page, this is how the page would look like. And you can also publish the page. When you publish the page, you can actually give the link to someone or you can put it on Twitter. You can copy the link, Facebook, WhatsApp. It's just really, really good. We are now back in the home of perplexity. What I love about perplexity is spaces. Let me show you spaces. You can find it here. I'll open my space. Let's say that I create a new space and I give a title to my space, AI Gadgets 2025. You can give a description for yourself. This is optional. You can select an AI model, SonarLar, GPT-4, or Claude Sonnet, and there are a few more. I'll keep the default one, but what I love here is that you can give custom instructions like you would give into a GPT. So let's say that here you are an expert researcher of gadgets in the world. You are looking for trends and you analyze the market very well. By giving custom instructions, this space now has these custom instructions for its large language model behind. We'll save this for now and let's continue. So now we have a new space called AI Gadgets 2025. So now I can start doing the same thread. The difference is that it stays in this new space called AI Gadgets 2025, and it's using that custom instruction that we've provided to do the searches. So what you can see right away, as we look ahead to 2025, because it's acting now as a trend analyzer, because I have given it that role. This is really, really cool. And again, don't forget at the bottom of it, you have related questions and you can continue to dive deeper and deeper. Let's say that you were in an e-commerce and you were looking for new products to sell. Would you do that on Google still, your research? I wouldn't. 
I would use perplexity. You were looking for new features. You wanted to research competitors. Again, I would do that with perplexity. The business use of perplexity is endless. Let me go back to my space. And now, as you can see, I have different threads. The AI gadgets for 2025. I can add another thread and say wearable smart devices for 2025. It's going to use the same custom instruction about trends and analysis. And we're getting again our sources. And as you can see, the answer, I love it. As we approach 2025, the wearable smart device market is poised for significant growth and innovation. And boom, we got our answers, we got our sources. That whole magic happens again. But what's really cool, as you can see, we're now inside our space. So that thread is here. You can also add files into your space. These files are sources for the new threads. What does that mean? It means that you can also use your files plus the search online to bring you answers. Wow. Think about the business use cases here. So that was perplexity spaces. There's so much more to it. I'd have to do just a video about spaces in perplexity. But today we want to do an A to Z guide of perplexity. I'm back in my home. And I'm going to show you one of the features that I absolutely adore in Perplexity. As you can see here on the bottom left, we had focus. Set a focus for your sources. If I select focus, I get options. Web, academic, math, writing, video, and social. I love social. Why? Because it's real information from people. Most of the time, it's going to search in Reddit. Let's do that same search. I'll click on social. Now you can see I'm focused on social AI gadgets for 2025. I'm doing my pro search again, and this time it's going to search only on social channels. Here we go. The search is done. And as you can see, all the sources are now Reddit. How amazing is this? Think you are preparing for your new product features and you want to understand what does users actually want? What could be the best features for you to develop in 2025? You can use Focus Social and you'll get answers from Reddit. And as you can see, now all my answers here are from Reddit, from what the people are actually talking about. This is amazing. As you can see, the source NVIDIA 2025 AI PC process rumors. Wow. I'm actually now getting answers from a community of people talking about rumors. And again, the same thing happens. You have related questions where you can dive deeper and deeper and deeper. And of course, I can add this to my space or I could have done this search inside my space as well. Don't forget. On the right section here, I could just click Add to Space and select my AI Gadgets 2025 space and bam, it's gone to that space. As you can see, that has changed and now it's in that space. Of course, it didn't use the custom instructions because we've already done the search, but if you continue, it will use that custom instruction. If you click rewrite, it's going to use the custom instructions of the space. So we've seen one of my favorite features. Let's just recap it very quickly. Focus, you have options of web, academic, math, writing, video, and social. Social, I think is the most powerful, but if you want to also find videos, you can just do video. You can also go on academic. If you're writing a white paper, you're writing something very academic for your business, you can only go into academic search. As we have seen, the most powerful features for search and research. I can show you just a little bit of the detailed features that are around what we've seen. On the top right in here, you can swap spaces, remove it from space, delete the thread itself. You can convert it to a page like we've done before. You can share it, which we've seen. You can also save it to your bookmarks. On the top left, you can see that it was a social search. It took three minutes to search and the date and the time, which is really, really cool. Let's go back to our home. The home is very clean and neat. But on the left, as you can see, we have Discover. I do like Discover. This is potentially the only kind of news that I'd look into because it's all about things that I really like, which is technology. But here you could go finance, arts, culture, sports, entertainment, and you can come in here and you can make it yours. My interest is tech and science. So I will see only tech and science news. And as you can see, the Discover page has lots of really cool news about tech and science. If you select spaces, you have access to all of your spaces that you have done. I love this because this is where I spend a bunch of time on creating different spaces and different searches. So that I come back to it and I can continue searches. And last but not least, it's your library. Here you'll find all your threads and all the pages that you have created. And on the top, you can search for your threads. One little feature that I haven't covered 
it's to attach a file. So we're back to normal focus and we're going to attach a file. So I have now attached a file, which is a bunch of pages about some AI reports and AI insights. It's uploading the file. And what it does, it'll give me access to this file. So let's say that I was searching for AI insights. I'm doing a pro search and I have attached file. So now it takes the file as a resource to also do the online search. As you can see, it's a bit longer. It's researching because it's extracting key insights and concepts from the provided doctrine related to AI and autonomous innovation. As you can see, we have searched inside my file and we've summarized my file. I could add this to the space and continue my online search as well. The files feature is incredible. If you have very long PDFs, you want to analyze them, you want to research them, you want to summarize them, you want to do a bunch of crazy things, you can. And again, our related questions will continue. So if I select this question, it's going to dive into the file again, and it's going to continue my search. When I select the related question, as you can see, it's now going online and search for how AI can improve decision-making in businesses. And then it's extracted the relevant insights from the attached document. So now it's pairing the online search with my document and bringing me the answers. Perplexity is by far the best search tool in 2024 and 2025 that is coming. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, we've used mainly the browser for perplexity, but now I'm showing you the Mac app. The Mac app is very, very clean. And as you can see in the Mac app, we get a few more features. We get voice and screen. If I click the screen, I get capture area, capture window or capture full screen. So instead of just being able to upload an image, I can take a screenshot of my screen right away or an area in my screen and search about that. This is just really cool. And voice will give you a way to speak to perplexity to do a search about AI gadgets 2025. And as you can see now, I've spoken to it. It has done a research. The year 2025 is set to introduce a range of innovative AI gadgets that will transform various aspects of daily life, work, and entertainment. Here are some of the most anticipated developments. Just wow perplexity. I think we're going to have to do more videos about perplexity, about each feature individually, and how you can use it for your businesses and how you can be 10x more productive in online search, research, summarizing, getting information. So your Mac app is the same cleaner with a few other little features like the capture screen and so on. If you have a Mac, make sure to download it. You can create a shortcut so that in your keyboard, you can access perplexity in just two little buttons and have perplexity powers on your computer all day long. Here we are. We have covered perplexity from A to Z. You've seen its great features. You've seen how I've used it for incredible searches, how you could dive deeper into topics, how you could create spaces, how you could create amazing pages to share around, how you can use different large language models. You've seen the Mac app. You've seen how to use focus, which is one of my favorite features of perplexity. You've seen how to attach the document and search inside your document. You've seen a lot about perplexity. OMG, perplexity is very powerful. If you're not using perplexity today, you're missing out. Make sure to subscribe to my channel as we're going to do even more videos about perplexity and different AI tools. This was Tim Chucker, your AI operator, signing off.